Hey guys, Keen Lost Game here with a new game called Commando, and <clears throat> oh my god, <clears throat> I have uh, replaced the Final Ninja series with something called Neutrome Weekly, and every week I get to post a random mini clip or Neutrome game. Uh, the game will always be in the description, so you can play it for yourself. I choose one of the best games that I know of, and you can comment below and tell me what other games you know that are cool from Miniclip or Neutrome. So I'm here to review or play Commando 2. Oh yeah, let's start as Key and Loss. I'm gonna be a woman. Actually, no, I wanna be a male. I like being a male, you know? Um, here in this game you could choose your own weapons such as a Commando Sword, Half Grenade, Flame Cocktail, a Beretti MC21. <coughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Um, sorry about that. <clears throat> the CG200, the Stingfire 220, the Scorpion, the T-I-Rex M30, the Neighborg NS30, and that's it basically for your first level of uh, the game. There are about 12 levels. Um, as the game um, progresses, it gets even harder. So after the fifth level, it'll finally be in a normal stage where it'll feel like it's going to get a little bit harder than it was before. And in level 9, it'll get even more complicated because they want a challenge, basically, so they're going to make the game even harder then. So, I have actually played this game as a child, and growing up, this game was one of the best games I've ever played. But I do not recommend it for little kids because it's basically about shooting and guns and all that. So, uh, we're going to get into it. I'm going to choose the... What is this called? The Stingfire, uh, I will also choose the Machete, what else, the SG, and for the heck of it, the TI Rex M30. So this is Commando 2, everyone. Alright, Mission 1, let's start. Uh, as you can see here, the interface is at the top left corner, while uh, it's also the logo of Miniclip itself. Okay. Let's lower this down so I can finally contact you. Um, I'm going to try and kill everyone with just a knife. So let's do this. Uh, yeah, the game is very easy in the first level. And I actually really don't recommend this to little kids. Uh, it's not really as good as I think it would have been. Um, yeah, there are a lot of explosions in this game. And to uh, rotate from your weapons, it's either the the scrolling button on your mouse or the Q on your keyboard. So there are two ways of, uh, you know, actually playing the game. The more fun way is using the machete. And at the top corner, you can see an infinite, infinite sign, so you can use this whenever you want. Jump into the water, you startle someone. What you do is, I'm gonna get the silencer probably in level 2, so hopefully that'll be okay. Uh, yep. You have to defeat everyone before um, leaving the next area, which is a very handy tool. So, it knows that you've actually killed or slaughtered everyone in this boat. See? Alright, so this one's a bit tricky. If you want to just startle him, you could do that. You just shoot him, and I'm going to finish him with my machete. His last face was startled. So, um, there are many other, as I can say, uh, what is it, weapons in the game, and they will progress and you will unlock more. Okay. Um, see, this is just the easy part of the level. And it is quite easy. The bullets are in a circular shape because, uh, I don't know. I don't know, laziness. But this game was amazing back then as a, as a child. Probably like last year. I don't know. Um, there are two ways to get up on this platform. You could check the background platform or either just the ground itself. You could hop onto their heads, which is v very awkward. And I'm guessing that you have to destroy these. See? Slow matrix right there. The bullet is fairly slow because your bullets are a bit OP. Because, uh, I don't know. They have the same weapons throughout possibly the whole game. 
but there are mini bosses and actual bosses in the game so that'll be uh, pretty sick to know and it's kind of neat um, myself I like the machete but you could be a fan of your own and play the game yourself um, I did not see you I'll just kill it with the uh, oh god I died yeah it's what you get okay so time to get the big boy out yep it does the job and gives me a little jewelry in a random tank I don't understand why so here what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to air assassinate them with my machete alright uh, Assassin's Creed right here oh yeah in the game you're also gonna have to f watch out for obstacles as they do push you off it's very scary um, I am low on health and if you get knocked on one of these things you actually fall to the ground um, slowing your objective good thing there is no time in this game which could really implement how fast or far the game would really actually go um, as you can see in the top left corner this game actually wasn't really bugged fixed in uh, um, art wise because they're basically just using PNGs or JPGs and then coding them in with um, let's say a AS2 action script kind of thing this game's GUI is pretty neat but it's also very simple so let's see this time let's use guns alright guns here you lose bullets fast and this franchise commando is basically all about guns and I am gonna die fairly quick very very soon I'm gonna need to uh, do that I'm gonna have to find a steam see if you find any food it actually heals you so that's really neat to find out or something uh, I really need food because I am like a half a heart warrior as Bayesian Canadian always says oh I just dodged that yes yeah, see if you uh, I just drank a soda right there so making my health bar go up but I have nine lives you know like a cat I don't really care you know see another corner that hasn't been fixed or implemented into the game but don't worry so I'm guessing this could be a Neutron Weekly game, or I can make it into an actual series. I don't really know. Um, it's a very, very, very fun game. Uh, it's basically one of those easy shoot 'em up games that you really want to play. It's actually had, I think, a nine out of ten review on Mini Clip. Now that Mini Clip has accounts, uh, it's fairly easy to know if the game is good or not yep oh god yes there we go food the red is just uh, my waiting bar uh, hopefully this is food is this food is it not oh well jewelry randomly in the TNT stack it's okay Asian guy alright let's go yep I did my uh, part yep this game is basically all about shooting and I think the main objective of it was, uh, I don't know, this is Commando 2, not Commando 1. Commando 1 was actually created, I think, uh, in 2004? I'm not sure. Oh god, I lost it. Oh my goodness. See, this is one of the bosses. They're much harder to fight than normal, um, objectives. No, 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 no. Yep, see, he stabs himself so no one has the honor of him being killed. I need more bullets. I really need more bullets. Um, what are you gonna do, eh? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. See, these things are fairly explosive. I don't understand why this game is so explosive to a point where it's ridiculous. Redonkulous, actually. The game's GUI is pretty neat, but the horse uh, men can actually shoot from a uh, from, uh, range of, uh, I'm guessing you can't go on these? No, you cannot. Only 
the only vehicle you could possibly go in the game this game is probably a tank I'm pretty sure that's what you can only ride yep it's not like a one hit and this is just the easy mode so uh, yeah this game was actually really cool back then and I still think it's one of my favorite games but now as time progresses you got Skyrim you got all those next generation games uh, you seem to forget these kind of games the good old uh, shoot 'em up games with the Asians and the cars and the Korean randomly symbol I don't know if we're in Korea actually um, yep I'm actually gonna need some health they randomly store these here okay see you got a lot of health from those spring rolls that what it looks like uh, see this is the boss for level one and it's actually not that hard um this is like a glitch I found as a child and it's actually really easily to kill him really easy really really easy uh, but you have to have full health and if not you could easily die it's not meant for full you know oh god see as you can see now his health is only eight but I have full health so I can easily do this with my ammo reloaded and everything it's a little cool trick if you're on hunger or health you could easily just you know uh, seem to die I oh, was that a panda oh damn those pandas are cute okay so they knock you off you explode this thing you don't even understand anything basically implemented in the game and what you do is you just hold your mouse to a point where it's actually going to uh, you know pretty much sling raider pretty cool name it's nifty it's nifty it's really nifty um, I'm just going to keep shooting oh god thank you thank you for that um, what was that other one Yes, you can easily defeat him with the, I guess, see, mission complete, and this is it for our uh, Neutron Weekly, so see you guys soon. I don't know if you want another one of this game, but next time we're either going to try Toxic or Final Ninja 2, the sequel to Final Ninja. You might not understand it, I don't really uh, care, <laughs> I'm still going to do it, so see you guys soon. This is Kean Lost Gaming, and you're watching Neutron Weekly.